Hi guys, Pepper Pam here. Today I'm going to be making dandelion salve. Um, I have two jars. I have one jar that I am infusing the dandelions right now. They'll be ready in a couple weeks. All you do is you put the dandelions in. You either add your vodka or your olive oil or your coconut oil. And you cover it and you let it set for four to six weeks. Now this one's done. This is the infused oil. After you put this through a strainer, it looks like this. So what I did was I'm doing one cup of dandelion infused oil and a half a cup of rendered bee wax. You can go to Michael's and buy it also, but I happen to have my own. And you put it on the stove, you turn it on really low. I like to use a chopstick, gets the wax on it and I can just throw it away. And you don't want to burn it. And it's just two steps. It's just that. The longest part is when you make the infusion, the oil. You can also, instead of letting it sit for um, four to six weeks, you can also do the double boiler method and let it go low and slow for anywhere from 45 minutes to an hour. And then you strain it. But I always have a tincture you know up in my window I've always got something going here at the house so but go ahead and google it look it up look up how to make uh, dandelion tincture and when you figure it out most of your tinctures um, or your infusions um, they're all about the same it's the it's covering the plant with either coconut oil olive oil or a, a vodka a good vodka too So let's let this melt. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm also entering this in the fair. And I think it's a shoe in because nobody does stuff like that. <laughs> I see a blue ribbon in my future, I hope. And I always use um, a wide mouth jar. You can put them in a little can also. But um, these are pretty good. That way it's, you can get your hand in there. It's not going to be real soft like a lotion. It's going to have a hardness to it. Um, but this is the only thing that works on my, my heels. I have really bad cracked heels. I have a bad habit of running around in the garden with no shoes on or with just my flip-flops. And um, my husband said my heels are like the Grand Canyon. Sorry for the visual. But this stuff for me, the dandelion salve, is the best thing that helps my feet get better. And I usually go through one half, uh, it's a half pint jar, I usually, or a half of a pint, half, I usually go through that um, in one summer. So... go just about done here and this is all it is it's very simple make sure when you pick your dandelions they're away from your dog and they're you get them from a spot that there's not um, any you know pesticide hubby always you know he doesn't mow until I'm way after spring to where I can get my dandelions and all my medicinals Here we go, pretty good. Okay. But you can always, you don't want to get wax on your silverware or anything like that. So I always use a wooden, uh, just a chopstick, a little wooden disposable chopstick that I find at the Goodwill. Or you can bring them home from, you know, if you go out to eat or whatever the deal is. Okay, there's a little stubborn piece in there. Let me see if I can get that real quick here. There we go. Okay. That's it. Okay. I'm going to turn it off. And I just pour it in the jar. That's it.
That's it. Daddy Lion Salve. Let it set and cool, and then you put your seal on it, mark it, and date it. Okay, the dandelion sab is all done. Look at the beautiful color. So this is just the dandelion um, tincture and beeswax. That's it. Now, if you want to add a little bit of essential oil to it, you can. Um, after you pour it into the jar, you use about 15 to 20 drops of whatever oil you prefer. I like lavender. So um, anyway, super pretty. I hope it wins me a ribbon at the fair. And this is wonderful for cracked feet, ladies. Anyway, have a cool day. Pepper Pam out.